I'm Toby Paddock and I'll be bringing you fresh ideas along with a lot of my chef's secrets to make meal planning easy. Yes, awesome. Straight over the top. So what's for dinner? Tonight it's delicious barbecue beef ribs with spicy cherry glaze. I'm out here by the barbecue. The barbecue shirt is on. I'm gonna show you guys how to do an awesome barbecue beef rib recipe. You'll need barbecue beef ribs as well as select cloudy apple juice, raw sugar, a cup of fresh cherries, and a lime. Click here for the full recipe and to add all the ingredients to your trolley when you shop online. I popped these ribs right here into a pan that's large enough to easily hold them all, filled it up with cold water, and then brought it up to the ball, reduced it down to a really gentle simmer for about an hour, an hour and a half, until they're beautiful and tender and cooked all the way through. So now we can make a glaze to put into here. I've got some cherries here, and I'm using fresh because we're in summer, but if you can't get hold of fresh, you can use frozen for this as well. And then I've got this cool little cherry pitter here. You just pop the cherry in and push through, and the stone comes straight out. Last one. And I'm gonna add into this pot some raw sugar. And now we're gonna add some apple juice into this as well. We're gonna pop this over a medium heat. You wanna allow that to reduce and just gently simmer for about 15 minutes till it's quite sticky. While that's reducing, I'm gonna get a couple of chilies here. And this is for the chili fans. You can leave this out, it's not gonna ruin the recipe. But I really love the spice it gives to the ribs after. We wanna quite finely chop these. And I'm gonna leave the seeds in here as well, which will really fire these ribs up after and give a lot of heat to the glaze. This is reduced now, we can get the flavours into there. So I'm gonna pop this chilli straight in. Then we're gonna add the juice of one lime. Two tablespoons of Dijon mustard into here. So once you've given that a little bit of a mix together, we're gonna pop this into a glass bowl. And now we're gonna blitz all this together. I'm gonna use a stick blender, but you guys can do this in a food processor if you want. When you're blitzing this, you want to blitz it down so all the ingredients are really pureed together. If you get kind of chunky chilli bits in there, they're going to burn on the outside of the rib. So you want a really nice, smooth, even consistency. OK, once it's all blitzed, we can pour it straight over these ribs here. Oh, yeah. So just fold these ribs in the sauce so they're really coated on all sides. Once you've got this marinade covering all of the ribs, you're ready to go. You can let them sit at room temperature for 30 minutes or overnight covered in the fridge. These have been sitting for 30 minutes. You can see they've really taken on the colour of that glaze. So now we can put these straight onto the grill. And these are already cooked. We've done the cooking in the water here. So what we're doing here is giving the glaze a real chance to caramelise and give the ribs that sticky kind of characteristic they're well known for. So we'll cook these for six minutes while turning. Now, we've got lots of glaze. We've gone to lots of trouble to make this. So I'm gonna pop it straight into a pan. Then we're gonna bring that up to a really gentle simmer and we can use those juices to baste these ribs as they're cooking. These have been cooking for six minutes. You can look how sticky, they're tender, they're soft. So let's get them straight onto here. Guys, this is a crowd pleaser. Cook it, enjoy. Let us know what you think in the comments section. There we have it, barbecue beef ribs with spicy cherry glaze. Now, if you like that, all ingredients can be purchased at your local Woolies and online by clicking here. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. To explore all our other fresh idea recipes, click here. And for more barbecue recipes, click here.